Hello friends, uh, this is your friend Vivek Bajaj, co-founder of Stock AG Learn Markets. Friends, this is going to be a very, very exciting video. Friends, this is going to be a very exciting video. And I will tell you the reason why this is face-to-face. Why is it special? Uh, two reasons. There are two reasons why I believe this face-to-face is going to be the best face-to-face probably after the face-to-face I have recorded. So many one, ones I have recorded, but this is going to be very special. Two reasons. This face to face is for people who want to do part time trading. Ye aap baat suniyega dosto. Ye face to face maine unke liye record kiya hai. Jo job mein hai, jo business mein hai, aur jo share market mein part time trading karke paisa kamana chahte hain. Haan dosto, ye ek topic hai jis pe kai log mujhse question puchte the ki sir ye kaise kare? To mujhe laga ki unko bulaya jaye jo part time trading hi kar rahe hain aur market se paisa kama rahe hain. To aaj ka face to face bahut bahut special hai. Dusra reason, the second reason why this face to face is important is because this is being done by uh, me with someone who has never ever appeared in front of all of you. He's quite famous. Aap log sab unko follow kar rahe hain. Unke Twitter mein aap unko follow karte hain. You love his work. Aur unke kaafi followers hain. But uh, people don't know his identity. Sab unko ek hi naam se jaate hain. Aur wo naam hai PAV leader ke naam se. PAV ka full form jo mujhe samaj mein aaya wo hai price action uh, price action or volume correct so <laughs> to aaj bhi aap unke bare mein to nahi samajh payenge wo kaun hai but itna main aapko bata deta hu ki he uh, comes from a very humble background he is working uh, at a very very reputed level in a reputed company he doesn't want to come openly and but he has been doing very very good work as a trader and as someone who is sharing wisdom of his learning from market wholeheartedly and i'm i'm very delighted to have an interaction with him so i'm going to invite him uh, so i will call him pav <laughs> can i have you on uh, on air hi vivek hello <laughs> hello how are you vivek very good yeah this is the first time i'm going to record someone with his uh, twitter handle id called pav without really knowing his identity i'm very excited to talk to you same here uh, vivek i'm uh, really grateful for this opportunity to share my experience with you and all your viewers but uh, before i start i definitely would like to take a minute to acknowledge uh, all the great work you and your team is doing to increase awareness for the retail traders i know it's not an easy job to you know talk to so many people synchronize with them their schedule but uh, amazingly you 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 are you and your team has been doing a fantastic job this is also i'm sure is uh, helping retail traders uh, learn different styles of trading uh, and they should be able to adapt what suits most to them right it's Absolutely. like a it's like a platter of se- several styles served and you can choose whatever you like so and also i would like to thank you for uh, being flexible to accommodate uh, my request uh, to respect my anonymity I I'm, I'm doing it for a reason but I'm sure that I'll be able to just do the justice to all the time spent by me you and all the viewers so thank you sir very much thank you so much to you as well for uh, accepting my request of coming and sharing your wisdom the way it has been done right now and this is the first time you are coming and sharing your voice with people so I'm <laughs> very excited I I also follow you on Twitter and your posts are every post of yours is definitely by someone who has been there done that in market so i love to uh, have you share your wisdom with all of my users aap samay ki pabandi mat kijiyega aap hindi bhi bahut acha bolte hain mujhe pata hai ki maine aapse phone mein baat ki hai although you are staying outside india but aap hindi bhi bahut acha bolte hain to aap hindi mein bhi boliyega aur english sure. mein bhi boliyega taki pura desh aapko acche se sun pae sure and uh, ये जो एक नया ये जो टॉपिक लेके आज अपने डिस्कस करेंगे वो है पार्ट टाइम लोग कैसे मार्केट में काम करके पैसा बना सकते हैं बहुत जबरदस्त टॉपिक है मैं ज्यादा टाइम नहीं वेस्ट करूंगा पहले आपके बारे में थोड़ा जानूंगा नाम मत बताइएगा बट एटलीस्ट किस प्रांत से आते हैं क्या बैकग्राउंड रहा है ये शेयर कीजिए इससे हमको पता नहीं लगेगा आपके बारे में और फिर उसके बाद हम लोग टेक्निकल डिस्कशन करेंगे बताइए श्योर विवेक थैंक यू सो मच all right uh, thanks vivek so uh, just just a little bit of background um, i'm born and brought up in a place called uh, meerut in in up 
uh, did all my schooling and, and graduation from from uh, Meerut, and then I moved to Bangalore for my job. I'm I'm in IT, um, and and I have been into security for quite some time now. So for mm-hmm. my job, I, I moved to Bangalore, and I got exposed to the trading in 2005 mm-hmm. by my cousin, who actually has joined uh, India Bulls as a relationship manager after doing his MBA, and then mm-hmm. he. Um, asked me to open the account and then that's when I opened it got a relationship manager assigned and, and exposed to trading so that's how mm. this all started mm. and uh, though I opened the account and kind of funded it with some of the savings I had then but I had no idea what to do so I kind of rely started relying on the advice or expertise from uh, India Bulls relationship manager and mm. as a big luck um, I also made some money uh, initial initially quick bucks made in very short time so which made me think that yeah this is something which should be you know explored more so mm. i started trading more like a uh, bigger by leveraging all the you know 2x 5x 10x kind of uh, thing but i did not realize that uh, without risk management position sizing which i respect a lot now i that time i had no idea so i kind of started losing more than i was making so mm. Even to recover that loss, what I did is I started uh, jumping into the options for the first time. And I recall that in in, in 2006 early days in Satyam, um, I, I lost 10,000 in, in my very first option trade. The expectation from the relationship manager was that it will cross 410 and I will double my account like 10,000, but it it actually failed. So that gave mm-hmm. me a big shocker. Or, what did it what did it happen at least in the cash market i i was making some money losing some but this was a full zero from ten thousand. so that was an eye opener so mm-hmm. then in those days then i started taking you know paid calls so from indoor or many other people some i don't know how they these guys got my number but somehow started mm-hmm. getting calls <laughs> then i uh, started uh, watching cnbc uh, for all those experts sometime i used to make money sometime i i don't so basically all this continuously uh, happened. Then I got introduced to some Yahoo groups. And mm-hmm. then through one of those groups, I got introduced to the technical analysis for the first time. And mm-hmm. I I had no idea what it was. Then they mentioned that, OK, yes, this is how you can make money. You can be on the right side. Mm-hmm. But again, it was all indicator based trading. So uh, <laughs> you know, as all newbies start, I started with moving every crossover, then tried hands on all sort of indicators. So everything kind of slowly and gradually, I, I kept maturing myself. But still, since it was an indicator-based trading, uh, all all those indicators are lagging. We know now, and mm. I was kind of searching for the holy grail which can change my life uh, drastically, but it mm. never happened. But so I I keep on you know trying something new, uh, you know trying and testing new systems back testing all those systems manually i mean i i burned a lot of midnight oil in those days and finally um, after some time i when i landed myself in in vsa which is volume spread analysis mm. while searching for for how markets move who drives these big moves and and kind of that time the first time i i learned the concept of called like smart money which i mm use actively now so so that's the kind of journey vivek i have uh, gone through in my early days from 2000 you know 5 to 2007 8 9 time these early 3 4 days i keep feeding my accounts uh, with with more money and i used to blow that every few months so that's the kind of uh, uh, you know journey i had started and then finally when i got the vsa i kept digging more practicing more and and basically i got more inquisitive about how exactly I can crack this code. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I studied kind of Wyckoff, VSA, like Tom Williams and, and many more things. So that time I started feeling like this is kind of breakout for me, a uh, breakout mm-hmm. moment, right? Then, which means that now I feel, okay, I, I'm on the right side after struggling so many years uh, in, in that. Mm-hmm. So that, that's how I switched to price action and volume trading. So yeah. <laughs> so you are literally like a you know boy next door or a typical investor next door profile yeah. struggled initially tried a lot of things and finally landed up in the right uh, tool because you you were perceive you you had that perseverance you Correct. always you were trying to do things so that you reach the right uh, right thing which will lead to that success 
which most of the most of the people don't do after a point of time people surrender yeah. and they will start blaming the whole system that broker chor hai market mein khali sata <laughs> hota hai koi logic nahi hai market ka <laughs> correct correct but in fact you bhi usko se baat karta tha to wo bhi yahi bolte the ki i think you are losing too much i think this yeah. is not going to work so i got a lot of people who discourage me but i i realize that yeah if people are if big big shots are making money it means all i have to do is just see how can i you know start following their footsteps so it's like it's taking time but once i you know start to be on the right side i will start making money and and you know first instead of making money first i will stop you know losing money that was my yeah. goal which eventually came but initial struggle i will never forget and that's the reason i am able to relate to all the people on 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 twitter that when they say this is what is happening so i know because i've been there i've done that so i know what exactly a newbie goes through sahi hai sahi hai and uh, i believe you are in uh, us right now uh, so you are actually quite busy person in terms of your work profile but yes. still you get time to uh, do a bit of trading and uh, also spend time on twitter to spread knowledge so i know i'm very excited to learn more from you that how you managed to do trading part time and still make money from the market so let sure. me just uh, share the screen uh, with you and you know i want to kind of keep the floor open for you now and you share whatever best you have for us sure i am ready with my pen and paper uh, <laughs> friends uh, if you are still not ready with your pen and paper pause this video go and get your pen and paper because pen and paper is most important you know writing phone pe likhna ek alag baat hoti hai but pen aur paper pe likhne se dimag mein concept better register hota hai ye mera ek experience hai jo choti si baat aapke sath share kar diya so get your pen and paper and be ready for a lovely lovely learning uh, which we are going to have from pav chale sir all right thanks vivek so so this is what i'm planning to share uh, today but again uh, let's keep it very fluid very interactive with more questions more charts and more practical examples on how things should be done uh, instead of just going with a bookish knowledge so i all what i have you know written here is uh, purely based on what i do what i follow and what has been working well for me and i'll try mm. to definitely be very precise in 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 you know sharing this concept uh, and i i hope that by end of this session people should be able to take something meaningful home um, mm. you know just start the journey or just give a meaningful thought to their trading process today so actually uh, you know i will be talking about the high level market structure though i won't go too deep because in the inter interest of time i just want to make sure i'm spending right amount of time on on the all each topic so market structure how why it is important what are the areas of interest which i also call it like supply and demand zones which i actively use in my trading then though there are several type of price action setups uh, you know available but why i prefer only these three which i'm going to talk about today uh, why i feel these are the most important things uh, everybody should be uh, learning then again uh, we all know as you have seen uh, me talking that trading is a journey from protecting capital to building wealth um so i'll be talking about these uh, two concepts then finally the trading advice for working professional and then a little bit little little bit of takeaways from the session so all right so price section as as i mentioned that when when i see chart everybody sees a chart in in a different way right the same chart if it is presented in a naked fashion it will give a different view to different people and everybody will take it differently but hmm. what i have learned over a period of time is that price is the king and and that's the most forward looking or advance uh, you know way to look at the what is happening in the market because pr price is nothing but the you know decision buyers and sellers are taking which is getting plotted on the chart so and one of the key reasons i have seen most traders fail to achieve consistent success is that they do not understand the game they are playing they just want to buy and sell which is very easy like it's a button you, know, you click on buy and click on sell so but what is most hard is that at what time you should be buying what time you should be selling so that's the reason to understand and understand that science and art or whatever you call it the 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 focus of price section is just to make sure that you are going away from the indicator based signals which are nothing but the derivative of price what first 
first price gets plotted on a chart only hmm. after that every indicator you know takes its own shape whether it is macd or rsi or any other indicator so that's Sorry. the goal right and then we all know that we we fall under the retail category and markets are moved by the giants it could be hedge hmm. fund could be we call it fii dis or all the big players who have more money more internal intelligence from the you know stock exchanges so they know more than us so how how we can be on the right side we 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 cannot have that intelligence available to us but at the same time if we are able to spot what they are doing when they are doing when they are active when they are inactive and start following that 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 way we will have you know our own edge we may not be you know catching the tops and bottom but at the same time if we are able to you know catch the structure uh, then i think we will still be on the right side and make good money so that's the whole objective of getting to price action i hope it's making sense let me know if you have any questions nahi sahi hai mai beech beech mein hindi mein aapse prashna poochta rahunga to aap uska jawab hindi mein de dijiyega taki hamare hindi vasiyon ko jo aap baat bol rahe hain uska ek crux pata lag jaye theek hai perfect hai to to price uh, price action why i follow basically is because i know when i read started reading about vsa and wyckoff i hmm. learned three very important uh, concept way one is everything is supply and demand right okay. and we are following this in our usual life also and i was right. like, few months ago i was telling this example my, my daughter keeps on asking what what do you do how do you what are these red and green bars and all those things so main usko batata rehta hu ki ye price action hai ye aise yahan se price idhar se yahan se aise move ho raha and all those things so jab ye covid start hua to i gave her an example about the sanitizers were completely wiped off from the walmarts and all the stores all the masks were gone so i was telling uh, you know this example to her ki is samay supply jo hai wo limited hai for these sanitizers and masks but demand is more everybody is desperate to get those sanitizers and and masks so to protect themselves so it means with limited supply so much demand then they are being expensive and things like that so i was just trying to relate things for her so hmm. the through the wyckoff laws and study what i re- realize is market is nothing but a but a supply demand so if you are able to get your hands on on supply and demand understanding then you can first you know you, you be on the right side that's number one hmm. second is se- second thing which i learned is that effort versus result which means that effort is nothing but the price spread every candle has its own spread and okay. the result is nothing but the force behind that spread so if price is moving from 100 to 105 in one bar uh-huh. what is the volume behind that what is the force behind that which is seeing mm. that result for the price movement so that's another thing mm. which i learned and i i went as deep as i could uh, vivek it means i mean i have read possibly all the available books on this subject in the market okay. just to make sure that i am not just talking in the air or doing things in the air i i have a strong fundamental on this thing right the second the third and the last important thing is the cause and effect and hmm. people see what is happening on the chart which is nothing but the resultant price movement price saw okay. se did chala gaya theek hai chala gaya okay koi problem lekin kyun gaya what happened at the back end people, nobody wants to care right but if you know that art how do you find that particular cause which could hmm. be accumulation distribution or the context which i always talk in my tweets that context is very important in the left whatever you see in the left hand side the context is important correct right? so that way it's important so these three things what i have learned and just to be on the right side and this has cemented my understanding about the markets really well and i i use those concepts every now and then and i'm i keep telling that price tells its own story so if price if a, every setup has a s- certain way to work but if that setup is not working and price is not behaving the way it should be then it means it is giving some hint it means it's not going to follow the same plan or path what you were thinking as a setup just so make yourself on the alert mode that okay this is not working the way it means most likely it's going to reverse and then wait and watch hmm. so that's the whole science and and you know art i i i follow behind all these things is it okay. making sense i hope you are yeah. following me yeah yeah okay perfect so so when it comes to structure wh- what is structure and and how do how do you read a chart 
structure is nothing but uh, and i can just quickly maybe go to some chart yeah 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 so this way people will be able to relate better yeah okay so structure is nothing but a, a high level you know a higher highs higher low we we all know that that market moves in in you know ups and downs zigzag format yeah. right yeah so when, when we know what exactly is happening on the market if you see a higher time frame you know what is structure is market has been moving this um uh, if i start doing this this is structure and this is on a higher time frame right so okay yeah so so what i'm saying is when you know the structure you can always be on the right side and uh, again this is a very important step uh, in the multi time frame trading which which is a very key concept to to learn when it comes to trading so uh -huh. this is how I, i i look at the structure and again I, as i said i am a working professional so i don't spend too much time in in the lower time frames unless i have a time during that day but i predominantly follow a, a daily time frame and hourly time frame for execution for my swing trades or short term trades but mm -hmm. why i am talking about the structure is this is a monthly chart of bank nifty when i go to weekly so right now if you see as per this chart the last low here which is 26560 was uh, you know the main structured low and mm. when i see structure the main thing the very important key thing and i can um, talk about that is that what is the last significant low a price has made before touching a new high okay this is a very very key important and i i've read so many books but based on what i could collect from all the books and experience i've seen is last in this case price made a new high here okay this area right this is a new high yep. after this yeah and prior to making this high this particular low was the key low structure low so okay. basically as long as price is holding above this key level it will be bullish yeah. it will continue yeah. to make higher highs higher lows as per the structure yeah when it closes below this that time hmm. the main structure will change and when i'm saying main structure right now i'm only talking about the monthly chart because it's a monthly chart but okay. when you go and look at things on the weekly things may look different yeah the structure on weekly would look like this the the blue ones what you see here this is the weekly structure which broke which broke here and yeah. then the left there is another structure coming higher 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 low from this side so so why structure is important because it keeps you on the right side and again we don't need to i mean how i look at it i'm not seeing this structure as something without the understanding of supply demand what i'm seeing here is that price consistently made or took support in this area every time this it came in this area one mm -hmm. like one time two times third time it means somebody is sitting here who is genuinely interested in buying mm -hmm. bank nifty at these levels okay right. as long as this group of traders it could be hedge funds it could be any other smart money but as long as this guy this these these set of people are interested in buying at these level we should be okay mm -hmm. and we should look for opportunities in the long side right for example if i look at this to this this has after this this has made a new high correct I, I, are you seeing me uh, yeah, yeah 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 so this particular thing after this high it made a new high here so right. for me this particular area uh, i'm just going to make a oval here this area becomes more important right similarly as long as this area is holding up i will be looking only at the long opportunities in in the monthly right. or sorry right. this is the chart right so structure varies by every single time frame right and and as i said the most important thing what i look for is how much effort after a new high the price is making mm -hmm. let's say so the gap between this high and this high is very small if it was right. a very strong breakout it should have continued the momentum it means that it may take a little bit of support either in this area or in this area the previous one and as oh. long as it is holding then i'm i'm i will look for the buying opportunities okay so uh, and i uh, i will share more examples on this i'm just just giving why i feel structure is important uh, okay uh, and this uh. is this is how my 
list so this is let's say daily chart so right now what i see is how when bank nifty was falling consistently hmm. this area the first time it it tried to made this high this becomes more important no ah. this also aligns with this big candle where price took so it in it's a daily chart but okay right it's it's showing the long wick here at the bottom and the mm -hmm. same way it is kind of giving us support at this moment and then when price again hit this level this is wow. kind of becoming a new level of resistance so this wow. basically i will i will when I, when i will come to support su support and and, and demand like yeah. supply and demand zones i will talk more on this but this yeah. is how i'm drawing all my you know demand zones and things like that just to make mm -hmm. sure i'm on the right side this structure is coming from the left side which is your historical support and resistance okay. if you see so now price is taking you know making new highs on the daily chart but on the if you see on the weekly it is still not has not crossed its previous demand turned supply zone right right so yeah. this yeah. this is where price has taken multiple times demand zone so now all these things will turn into uh you know the supply and why there is a reason very very interesting reason behind how this this works because hmm. no supply or demand zone forms in in its own without a logic behind uh -huh. and i'll talk about those things when i will when i will come to that particular portion and, and just to give a very high level overview of why these supply and demand zones work very effectively because when when people are you know this this price broke and then the mm. first that happens you know mm. then the fresh shorts you know supply this becomes a supply zone so the fresh mm. shorts you know whosoever has missed the bus will go mm. and try to sell over here yeah right? very first yeah. opportunity right yeah. and people who are just selling at the bottom who are buying will also try to you know make some profits over here yeah at the time of you know price pullback so i'll i'll come to that on but but at a very high level this is structure how i follow mm. structure this so from monthly to weekly to daily you know you should have a very clear view of all three time frame and it can happen on hourly 15 minutes and 5 minutes depending on what time frame you are following what type of trader you are so structure is important right mm. and the key point or take away from structure is the last significant low before a new high that is Uh, important and similarly the last significant high made before a new low is made is important right the time price reaches back to that you know last significant low after making a new like before making a new high that is very important so that's these are the two things which we should always consider okay are we good yep absolutely all right so um, now i will just switch on to the supply and demand or area of interest which i call similarly if you see that the price took a hit here it fell but it did not mm. fell ideally if the price is in downtrend and when i say downtrend it the moving average is also low it is making consistently lower highs and and lower lows now mm. this this area has acted as a resistance price fell here okay no. but if no. this was so and that time due, due to covid we have hell lot of negativity in the market everybody was saying sell 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 we we all know that right uh -huh. but price was selling its own if this was so much of you know volume and it's so much of negativity the price did not give a follow through in the next candle right so that was the first signal that despite of giving a heavy low with a wide spread candle it did not make a new lows and price gapped up and stayed above it Mm. again tested that the supply zone again tried to make a new low here but it did not give a follow through mm. price uh, made a you know new high within the same supply zone made mm. a new low but this time also it did not even break this particular low it means price mm. is its own story and you see mm. that how price has started you know the range has become narrower which means that selling pressure is reducing mm. there are not much people who are left to sell and then slowly de de demand is emerging if you see the 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 volume st it started coming with, uh, going high with a new volume it is mm. it's going down with the less lesser cap this uh, you know narrow range candles and then mm. from there the buying emerged with with the higher volume mm. that was the signal that 
it is highly unlikely that this level would break and now we should mm. start looking for a new long opportunities the the counter trend traders can start you know buying here but then again mm. the supply is also if you buy here then your first target should be this zone okay okay right this is how i look at things and when i when i look at these if i'm looking at the you know the daily time frame the oh. time the timing would be either on a hourly chart or on a 15 minutes chart based on price and action volume or or ema 21 or or vwap purely based on the volume but that's how i i typically follow in this case okay uh, so if you are uh, if you are working somewhere and if you do this homework say end of the day and you identify a structure which says that yes this is a buy yeah then you are saying that uh, when do you enter you enter based on hourly chart then or 15 minutes chart next so day. what i yeah what i do is i i keep key levels on mind so uh, if you i let me just make it in bigger so what i do is this is the low sorry this this candle has the high of this candle is 18200 mm mm-hmm. right be, right before coming to this level this has made a 18200 and and made a low of low of 17105 mm-hmm. so i will look for how when when the price will take you know start making highs and and will break this mm-hmm. so in that case on the on the uh, alert like i when i was in india and trading bank nifty i was uh, using iifl and you can use any other application which gives you price based alerts so okay as soon as the price price crosses 18200 i will get an alert and that time on my mobile i will see how price is you know looking in the hourly chart or 15 minute chart and that time mm-hmm. i i will start looking for the entry and so that, that means time, yeah sorry sorry to interrupt in the middle but that means you know even though you may be a part time trader but you know you need to always keep alerts and the, when yeah. the alert is there then yeah. you need to actively trade otherwise uh your price you'll miss the price opportunity right absolutely absolutely similarly for let's say i mean just going up now once the price crosses above this i will only start looking at the buying opportunities and as i mm-hmm. always say that let's say this is that this supply becomes a demand zone now and i mm-hmm. i trade pin bars very actively mm-hmm. which means that any time i see a low volume test and again these terms i'm using from vsa which i learned any time mm. I, i i look for pin bars with low volume test in the demand zone i i don't trade any anywhere between the supply and demand zones this is how i protect my risk risk and find lo, you know low risk and high reward trades okay, okay that that's the encourage, uh, encouragement i do with all the newbies always create your trading plan and trading system for low risk and high reward entries so in mm. this zone i will when when i know this is a established zone and mm. it has kind of now becoming the demand zone after supply then from mm. this after this close i will start because this has this particular bar has taken away high of this candle right right which means right. that all the positions must have been liquidated in this zone either this mm. zone or this this zone the red candle uh-huh. and then i will only start looking it's a, it's a kind of breakout but i don't trade breakout personally i am a pullback trader and okay. there is a reason behind and i'll talk about that when we'll go forward but but the the point here is that if you are a price action trader always look for how price behaves in the uh, demand zone or supply zone and then take a trade okay i don't trade trade if trading is anything is happening in between here i am not going to take anything neither here okay. nor here okay got it okay so so that's the any questions we make uh, so far no no continue okay perfect so so this is how the supply demand and maybe we can pick any examples from here i mean um, this so this is my stock example yeah yeah this is my watch list so for example just hold on let's pick okay okay so if you see this this is a monthly chart for torrent pharma mm mm-hmm. you can see how how strong this particular zone was when it comes to the supply zone hmm price has for many months price was trading in this zone hmm. right and the moment it made a new high hmm this, this is a breakout right uh-huh. 
this particular this particular zone becomes my new demand zone once it's on monthly mm -hmm. and then i will continue if it is on monthly then i will keep looking for you know the pullback trading on the lower time frame so this is a monthly chart so breakout okay. happened on monthly now you will time your um, trade on so this if you see this same line coming from monthly here okay okay, okay. Now, if you if from monthly to weekly, weekly, how you will see? This is how you will see how that demand zone, sorry, the supply zone got broken, and this is mm. how you. But will you enter here? No, because the risk is very high. You don't know where exactly it will land, right? If you buy here, the risk is yeah. very high, at least here. Yeah. Yeah. So what I what I do is I I look for the pullbacks at the demand zone. Okay. Okay. This is what I call a first pullback on weekly. Okay. But can you time this on daily? Yes, you can. Okay. right similarly if i go to daily i don't know how far i need to go here so this is your this is how your daily chart looks like okay but since your demand zone is sorry since your demand zone is in this level you will see yeah. how exactly price will behave when price will touch here this is a huge okay. gap if you see so if you see the high of this it's 1872.8 and this demand zone let's say the low is 1500 so it's a 300 350 rupees you know gap i wouldn't hmm. risk my money for this i will see huh. how how price is behaving when it's it's coming back here I, I, are you following me or am i going yeah, to yeah yeah. yeah 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 continue continue so so then i will go back to my uh daily chart and i will see how how things are shaping up so in this case uh -huh. the price is consistently making you know after making this high it is continuously pulling back towards the demand zone and now what uh -huh. i will do i will see once this and i will not trade and i will come to this particular section like how i use my 2 pm 4 pm setup so right now moving average is you know down and it is again making a lower lower highs right uh -huh. it is it is it is in the trending down it's a pullback uh -huh. on the lower time frame. So what uh -huh. I will see is this is where my new low is made uh -huh. on the daily chart. Prior to this, this particular area, this one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like this is where it made a last high before making a new low. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. If and just to ex give another example, if this low wouldn't have been made, okay. Uh -huh. and if this particular candle would have been the the last low then before yeah. that this particular section would have been my area because after making this long lower wick price made a high here bulls okay. got your know, bulls got failed here finally uh -huh. and then price uh -huh. made this low then got this it. becomes more significant for me you know before i can even think of going long and okay. I, I hope i'm making sense this is this is absolutely yeah. This is how I look at the multi time frame trading in, in my, uh, you know, trading. Right, right, right. These are the key levels which I look for. Uh, and there are plenty of examples every now and then they keep appearing on the on the chart. You can see how after this it it made a after breakout it first pullback, second pullback and th even after so much of negativity here, it came down till this level and then it did not break this. So, th so these are my, my question is that I can see that in a longer duration time frame, the demand zone and supply zone works very well. And once you reduce it, there are a lot of whipsaws. Absolutely. This is always the case because the thing is, um, it works on all time frame, but the lower the time frame, more the noise. Yeah. So ideally, if someone is looking to say, uh, not trade every day. Mm -hmm. and only trade when there is a bigger level in a longer time frame getting satisfied yep. maybe targeting probably 15 20 trades a month or 10 trades a month right then uh, you would suggest to look at just weekly chart and plan entry exit based on weekly chart uh, i suggest look at weekly chart and plan your entry on daily because daily will give you a, a, a decent um, you know time to analyze your chart i in India, I used to do a lot of EOD charts because if you see ME broker, this is a all EOD chart. I don't have anything lower time frame. 
Okay. So my okay. entire analysis was purely on daily charts, like daily, okay. weekly, and monthly. Mm -hmm. And then for timing, I can go to lower time frames. Um, you know, any time. So how do you put your stop loss and take profit then? Uh, on the daily time frame. Entry, yes. Entry is daily time frame. I understand. But then how uh, do you define your take profit and stop loss through weekly time frame or daily time frame? Daily, daily time frame only. Because oh. the yeah, the timing is on the daily. So I will keep my, for example, if I'm doing the this particular demand zone, if I'm using this particular demand zone as my you know uh, entry point, this I won't trade on only on this candle because I don't know what would be the follow up of this. This shows me that there is some buying came in the lower levels here. Okay. Uh, is my screen visible? Yeah. Okay. It shows that some buying came on this, but I don't know whether this is a uh, right level to buy or not. I don't know whether there would be a follow up or not. So the moment I, I will see, I will wait for the next entry, and then I will see if 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 the high of this particular candle is broken, then I will ride the trend. Especially on the can, it, can we go a specific age? Like 24th of July was this candle. Yeah, so this was week ended 24th of July, right? Now, so can we go to a daily time frame of that that period? Oh, this is daily. Daily only, yeah. So this is daily okay. only. Yeah. So on how how you can time? I will just show you in the just hold on. Okay. So this is 24th July. This is the same candle what I was talking about in daily. This is 27th July candle. So yeah, sorry, 27th July. See, it it was yeah. same in the, this also. If you see, this is 27th July. So yeah. High yeah. In, 2343.3 low is 2231 okay so yeah. this yeah. so this candle and again this is trending down if i look at this way this is trending yeah. down at this moment right yeah yeah what i'm going to do is this made a new low and again this is falling in the demand zone yeah yeah okay. got so it what is the high of this particular candle 2337.45 okay. 2337.4 this is a daily time frame so I will yeah. look for opportunity the moment it will break the uh, the high of this candle. At the same time, there is a change in behavior as well. So this is okay. high. Yeah. So the high of this is here. Again, after this, it kicked kicked here on EMA 21. It did not make a new low, which gives you know strengthens my belief. And the moment yeah. it break this or the high of that candle, let me see 2343. So 2343. So if this breaks here, like this, I will end yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. And that time, since there is a there is a you know strength here. First, it is bouncing off the uh, demand zone. Secondly, it did not made a new low after you know kissing this, and then. It also broke the final high of this particular strong hourly candle. Then I will I will enter here. And that time my stop loss, the conservative stop would be below this, or the aggressive stop would be below the last low. Got it. Got it. So and then, the, I, will, then I will ride the trend. So what so, I understand is that because uh, you give so much importance to structure of the price movement, yep. and I guess it's not practice career up. So, you have a price structure ka ek understanding. Ho gaya hai. So, demand zone or supply zone merge with the price structure. True, true. This is milak hai. Hai. Yeah. entry exit plan. Karoge. Correct, correct. So, this is how I, I trade, and that's how exactly I, I follow uh, you know, on the larger time frame. For, for intraday, I have a different setup which I also shared some time ago. This is my, um, this is my US based. Uh, Think or swimming from TD Ameritrade this is my multi uh -huh. multi time frame or four by four options kind of. So this is this is how I use my US charts. I have a very mm -hmm. fixed set of stocks which I follow. So I follow mm -hmm. Apple, AMD, uh, Baba, Alibaba, BYND, CCL, uh, Delta Airlines, Facebook, SPC, mm -hmm. uh, SPX and SPY are the indexes here. Tesla is my favorite one. So. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is this is very limited stocks. I know the key levels of all these by heart. Uh, and why I chose these only because uh, I trade only in options. So I am an options trader. So hmm. these are li heavily liquid in options. Okay. So 
pick let's say tesla if i go to trade here are the you know all the options chain i see and mm. i just pick based on the supply and demand if i go to the chart here this is what is happening in tesla so this is a daily time frame this is a 65 minute time frame this is my 15 mm. minute. if i just uh, if i just enlarge this i can i mean i can enlarge this as well just to show this is how things happen so so in 15 minutes a couple of days ago i i saw this heavy supply came, coming in the market which means that it it was time to stay alert um i thought that a lot of selling has happened here mm. and i can i can show the volume as well just a second a lot of volume came there but the thing is that price did not give a follow through so if you see there is a lot of volume here right mm. Mm. but price did not give a follow through and this is this was a previous uh, demand zone coming from the left from the higher time frame if you see here um okay okay yeah okay the breakout happened in that that area this is 65 it gives better so this was congestion zone and after that it bro broke out it took the so this candle becomes more important if it hmm. is was selling then it should give a follow through and i will only look for shorting opportunities once this breaks this one hmm. it, it, it breaks down and then pull back and then trade not at the breakdown got it okay. so but, but the price i'll just show you the 15 minute chart sorry uh this one the price did not give a follow so it 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 tried once it tried twice but did not give breakout it settled here in this zone and did a gap up and after that this is this is my ema 21 which i follow by default okay mm. and along with the yellow line is v vwap this is the setup i shared on twitter as well with many people in 5 minutes 15 minutes time combination and and you can see this how confidently there was no weakness in this zone i was expecting that in this zone supply zone there would be weakness which i will you know capitalize if if at all it happens but it did not give any weakness and it, it showed a lot of strength after this which means that you you have to be only on the long side which was continuously happening for last almost 10 10 12 sessions this is a daily chart you see this mm -hmm. it's a it's a pretty um sorry this is three months i'll just go with six months chart this is a tesla daily chart for six months and that's how i have drawn good part in 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 this this software is whatever you draw on higher time frame you can see on lower time frame as well so it doesn't right. <laughs> go away like you see how beautifully it has taken a, a dip here in this demand zone yeah it broke out this level with this strong candle hmm. it came here in this zone it again came here in this zone with lower volumes i'll just show the volume as well so with your logic which you mentioned previous uh, couple of minutes ago that uh, you will not trade between these two zones these, these yeah. two colors yeah and you will only very high. When, the, when the upper zone will get greased right correct the, after the breakout i look for pullback entries and uh -huh. before the pull, before the i sit tight when when there is no trade i mean that that's what i learned that you don't need to keep itching your hands and and do something you just uh -huh. you need to know how when to sit idle when not to trade and things like that right right, right. just just like wyckoff uh, you know supply and demand things like that uh, if you if you re follow the news uh, uh, the warren buffet has sold its stake sometime in first week of of may you yeah. know um, in all the major airlines for us and that yeah. moment what i was tracking all four five airlines very closely and this mm -hmm. is a typical spring pattern from wyckoff where below like uh, this is first may this is where the news broken it was i think friday or th i think weekend monday it gapped down based on everybody dumped their stock in panic hmm. after that some days it 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 hover like this finally went below the recent low and then popped up with high volume hmm. see this this is the this is how it popped up this is a hmm. typical pattern to trap the retail traders most of the people must have got their stop losses hit right below the low of this candle which was 19.1 hmm. and th this is this is one of the examples which i uh, and th th this is how i started trading delta from that point onward um, and it is it is of course one of my favorite stocks these days so th th that's how i kind of you know draw supply demand zone 
um, very easily, purely based on practice. It, it it looks easy maybe because I'm I'm sharing it in such a way, but trust me, it's not that easy. I mean, unless you practice a lot, you know how to mm. look for these zones, what to exactly look for. You you shouldn't be you know getting too much confidence in the very early stages. Other you may burn your hands. It it takes mm. a lot of practice. Uh, you know, to, this is what I I drew yesterday. Uh, and it broke today so i think it is continuously it should go up i'll just show you uh, so that's the 15 minutes chart um, right now so it it was consistently you know making higher highs this is also in in the um, you know rising mode i i would say 2 pm setup um, i'll come to that but I hope uh, all this I'm saying is, is making sense. And let me know if you have any further questions before we move on. No, I think uh, it's pretty much clear. Uh, and obviously, the users have to always to look yep. at these uh, concepts, uh, maybe a video one or two more times to understand this. But sure. by and large, I've understood uh, it's a play be between the demand and the supply zone. Correct. The, the price structure, which uh, I think you have really explained it well. I think you can proceed with the other slides. Sure. And again, just just on the smaller time frame, I keep these two lines as a previous day high and low, because yeah. this also gives me if I if I do this 15 minutes chart for 15 days, I have a mm -hmm. full view of what happened in 15 days on 15 minutes chart. Oh yeah. So it 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 gives me a so this demand zone is coming from the left. So I will start looking buying opportunities in this zone. The moment it I'll show you, the moment it it hits the it takes a support, but it, it should break the previous day high. If I hope you're you're following. So I will yeah. not blindly buy here because it's a demand zone. No, it should come and break the high. And then again, it, if it is retesting on the lower volumes here and then it broke above this time, I will no matter what I will. I will ride the trend. Yeah, yeah, got it. Got it. So, so that's how I, I do my analysis. I keep all these charts handy and I, I've created so many other views two by two, five minutes option, two by two intraday, 15, five minutes. So, so many views I've created the way I trade. If I look at the, uh, this one is, is this purely for options? So let's say okay. I, I do test Tesla. So what I do is in this, I do a 15 and five minutes, uh, you know, chart. And these two are more like calls and puts. So I will mm -hmm. also do the chart for the calls and puts. So how I do is, this is red color here. If you see number one, this is green. Yeah. color. So what I do okay. is in, in this platform, there is a good option of if I want to say 2100, uh, what is the price? 2200. So if I want to do a 2300 or 2400 call, this is 6.85. So if I right click on this and send to red, it goes there as a five minute chart of option. So it's a, okay. 2400 ka call ka, cha, ka chart hai. Theek hai? Okay. Similarly, for put, I will put something below here. So, if I want to, current price is 2200 and I want to trade, let's say 2100 or something, uh, uh -huh. I will pick this and I will send this to green. And here is my five minute chart on options. So, I look for some pattern here as well based on price action behavior. If both are in harmony, then I will take my option straight. It helps me oh. write options. It helps me buying options the way uh, as per my trading plan. But this is how I see everything right in laptop. It may be looking small, but when I'm at home and I have some time, I move this to the like 40, 42 inches TV, which I use as extended monitor or my, you know, other uh, monitor like 32 inches. So just to see things bigger and better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's how I, I use it. Any questions uh, so far, Vivek? I hope. No. No, no, it's pretty clear. You can continue. Right. Perfect. So I'll go to. So this is covered on market structure, price action, areas of interest. Now, this I have shown on the live chart. So I just took some screenshots from the chart. You see how price, you know, this is Kazaria cement. Uh, it took the supply from here and then fell. This is another chart. Uh, once the supply is broken, it became a demand zone. So it sometimes comes quickly, sometimes does not come at all, uh, and sometimes come very late. So this is how another example. This is TCS uh, 
the whole world is waiting waiting for it to break out so this is another chart for tcs that's another yeah. view of demand zone then this is the first and second pullbacks which i always uh, talk about so i don't trade breakouts as a, as a nature um, I, I try to find low risk high reward entries so pullbacks help me do that so after the breakout this is the first pullback i would always look for and time my entries on if this is weekly then i will time my entries on daily just like i showed in the torrent farmer similarly this one dcb bank plenty of examples uh, this is another dr reddy this is so coming to 2 pm and 4 pm setup which i shared some time ago and again based on my experience i know some people use uh, moving averages and it, it it is applicable on all moving averages but i personally use ema 21 mm -hmm. so it's a it's a setup right like 2 pm if you see in the watch this is 2 pm right now a yeah. and what we need to look for is 2 is the hour hourly handle and yeah. uh, similarly 4 pm is the hourly so this is nothing this has nothing to do with the market timings or you have to trade at 2 pm or 4 pm <laughs> <laughs> but it has something to do with the slope of 2 pm uh you know or slope of 4 pm as a moving average ema 21 okay lot of people have confusion they keep showing like they keep sending messages sir what is this 2 pm 4 pm i don't know and all that so just with this video i want to clarify that 2 pm always look for this what is the slope for this it's a 60 degree if you look at the angles this is you know uh, lower than that so you have to look at that and then this is the kind of guidelines how you should be looking at this uh, trend strength meter which i okay. try to develop based on my experience so whenever there is a sideways movement like any time you see the hourly hand between 230 to 330 avoid trading because okay. it may be a, a you know kind of um, sideways movement always try to look between 1 to 3 to 30 and basically 2 pm is like 60 degree which is a very strongly established trend okay okay so that's another way of looking at it these are some of the examples which i shared earlier so and the beauty of this model is uh, we are not trying to catch tops and bottoms vivek people try to you know try you know try to do you know tops and bottoms and then they don't stick to that so the book okay. the beauty of this model is you are just trading rejections of price near ema 21 and this okay. way when, when you see this entry you you enter below the low of this then your risk is just above the high of this yep it's a very low risk and you can you could do one is to one you could do one is to two you could do one is to three depending on your risk appetite purely but that's okay. how i i look at this i trade this model a lot in all time frames so can you uh... can you explain why this is 2 pm the first one oh no this this one is 4 pm this is the downtrend so if i go back here 4 pm is okay. down okay okay got it got it 2 pm is uptrend so whenever you see like so in this it means also this green is bullish strong hmm. trend toward 1 pm and then mild milder towards 230 in the mid, in between it is a healthy trend going up okay okay so that's again uh, the way of looking at chart so again if you look at this 4 pm this is sloping down you see the rejection below this low so this pullback happens again as i always say that market does not go in one single shot up or down they keep on going up and down so this way hmm. if you are seeing this rejection hmm. low below the low of this you can enter and that's hmm. the very small stop loss above this would be your uh, you know sl and you can ride the way you want right mm. it may look very simple but you need to practice yourself it's here in this case price you know moved some sideways but the moment this came it means that all the all the up, upside momentum is is rejected by this strong candle and then you need to continuously down the moment you if it is end of the day chart you you can't get a better entry because next day it will open gap down but yeah. and your stop loss would be above this but if it is intraday you can always you know um you know get a good entry below the low of this candle yeah similarly these so that that's how and this is the example of sideways don't burn your hands when you see like this stay away yeah yeah yeah, yeah. any questions can on we, this so can we see some uh, uh, some stock examples sure let me just see if in the 
Uh, okay. I don't know if I need to find some example, but we can start picking up anything from this. Uh, okay, for example, this. If you see this after the break, you know, this particular uh, candle, this candle has rejected and the, the, it started sloping up. It's still in the initial phase, but mm -hmm. this candle, and again, I, I look, I suggest everybody in the initial stages to only look for pin bar just to get your hands, uh, you know, dirty on that. But mm -hmm. once you're comfortable, you can start looking for the bullish candles after a low volume pullback. And you can okay. create your own scanners based on that. Right. Okay. I'll, I have any better examples here. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay, so this 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 is your this could be one of your examples that it started sloping down. You can use this, and when it started slowing up, you can after the breakout you can use this candle. I mean, every now and then when you start seeing the slope getting up which means the trend is getting established and any pullback to this with a low volume you know you you, you can you if you are not comfortable with volume initially you may ignore that and purely trade price but if you are comfortable then you can start using this as for example in the in the recent example so if you see this this reliance is also in in a proper uptrend now we all know that it's it's no more a secret now this has after this breakout it now breathing and taking a little bit of you know pause here with high volume it is breaking out now so you mm. can this particular trade and then you this is the last pullback happened here and you can mm. use your stop loss right below it similarly okay. for previously it this was a big supply zone which it it broke like it took a hit a couple of times here in this uh, last couple of months but mm. then it stabilized against this short short term demand zone this mm. time the last time it it gave a hit but this candle became a so this is also this could be acting as a new i mean in this zone when whenever it comes this can become another you know buying area and when you see at a higher it, it is well stretched up you know from the last breakout area so there may be mm. a cool down sometimes I, I don't know i'm just telling how i would take that if i have to take a trade now I will I will go long above this and I'll keep yeah. a stop loss below this below 2000. Oh, that's a long. That's a very large stock stop loss here. Yeah. You'll yeah. enter at 2150 and your stop loss will be just below 2000. That's like Correct. 150. Absolutely. But this is a daily time frame uh, Vivek and when okay. you see like this then of course you are entering as a positional for another 4 weeks, 6 weeks. Similarly okay. if if I if I trade on a breakout of this here then my stop loss would have been let's say i'm entering here at 1655 close my stop loss would have been below the low of this which is 1497 so again it's 100 plus so if, if you're looking for daily time frame your stop loss will always be high so that's uh actually that's more suitable for part-timers as well right. absolutely so you do homework at the end of the day and next day even if you enter one percent say expensive yeah or you exit one percent lower still it's fine because correct. you are anyway targeting a bigger move correct 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 and you, you can you can create your own scanners. I mean, um, I know I, I don't know how much time I have left, but you can mm -hmm. create your own scanners for spotting these things. Unless you have just just a fixed you know list. I have a I have a lot of watch list here, but mm -hmm. only my favorite one is these these stocks which I actively use to trade, but predominantly in right. Nifty. But then if you want to trade options, then you have master list, which is a combination of all Nifty 50 and many other stocks. Yeah. Right. So, so you can create your own, uh, you know, watch list, uh, but that's how I, I do that. And as a price action and volume trader, I have created my own scanners. Uh, you know, like this is let's say uh, five five days volume reducing. So what it means is for last day, five days uh, the volume is consistently coming down. And if it is a pullback after a breakout, you just need to start looking for the break of previous day high, and you go long. For example. Mm -hmm. This is let's say delta. Uh, it is if you see the last five days volume in the right hand side, you know it's it's coming down, but it's still 
not near this i wouldn't i wouldn't take the trade here mm -hmm. uh, this one seems to be more yeah, better this is great. yeah this is what yeah Engi so this, yeah engineers uh, india limited so this oh, breakout yeah. happened with good volume then followed through then now it is cooling off happening the moment it stabilizes in this zone somewhere and yeah. breaks previous day high i would go long okay got it got similarly it. this is come continuously going up this is also something like this this is also so i mean you can create i am up i have created so many other uh, i'll just show you something more uh, so many scanners i have created uh, this is my favorite scanner so okay so these are the stocks i have got so this is axis bank is giving me long seam so scanner result does not mean that you have to trade all of these you have to just eyeball and see which one fits your risk appetite or everything else so for example if axis has is, is axis bank is you know breaking the previous resistance of 451.95 hmm. support was this and then it closed 2.56% up with the volume so volume 1% 1.04 is this blue line is the volume of moving average like 20 days correct okay so this current volume is just about just near that if you see 5.14 this is like more volume so it's like yeah. five percent, five times more than the average twenty days of volume. Yeah, yeah. So it's a breakout, right? So I, I've created so many scanners which I feel this one. Let's say LNT, FH. It's it's breaking out with good volume, right? You can create all these things. This must have been there yesterday also, I believe. Uh, but this is breaking out the recent uh, high. What is the high? Mm. Uh, One thirty-seven point nine. If you see this, mm. it's uh, no sorry. 132 yeah so one this is the current price and resistance 127.6 hmm. that broke similarly for data motors dvr and so so many yeah i mean you can create as many i mean this is just my then you you can search for all-time high if, if you are a momentum trader you can look for what are the stocks making all-time high and how how much percentage they are from all-time high so Asian paints is almost near the all time high now. It's just 2.25% below the two all time high. Reliance and I did these, these guys are making a new all time high. So, so based on your trading style, you can create so many a pin bar. How right. so, the pin bar see, like that. I mean, these are the scans which you have created in uh, AMI broker. I mean, so yeah. people need to become some and have some understanding of AMI broker scan uh, creation methodology, then only they can create. In fact, right. what we have done in stockage also, we have created a lot of end of the day scans. Uh, right. Some are very similar to what you are showing. So for retail normal investors, I think those scans also works really well. Absolutely. Uh, so Thanks for reminding me. I, I was using stockage when I was in India and so many beautiful, <laughs> you know, stock. In fact, it gives a, a good near the breaking high and things like that. So yeah. stockage, I definitely was using actively when I was there along with these scans. So, so. Yeah. Yeah. So these are some of these things which I have kind of uh, done, and I'll, I'll, I won't, I won't drain you much. Um, moving on. So yeah. So again, um, any questions on the charts and everything? I hope it is pretty clear how I trade. And yeah, yeah, it's pretty clear. Pretty clear. I understood. All right. So this is uh, your uh, like trading is a journey. I mean, I know how I started. So initially, I blew so many times my you know one lakh account in those early days. So for for newbies, it's like preserving your capital is must. So avoid big losses. You know, don't <laughs> try to over trade. Don't try to over leverage, and see how you can stay within your one percent or two percent loss, and then keep moving. You know, towards the smaller losses. So once you know how to avoid big losses, then you start making smaller losses, smaller profits, smaller losses with big, big profits occasionally. And then mm. finally, the goal is to make small losses and big profits more often, and small mm. losses and profits consistently. That's how the goal which we all aim for. Right, right. Fantastic. Well put. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. This is how uh, these these are some of the general guidelines which I follow personally. Um, One percent risk rule for standard trades, and if you feel something is really really high probability trade, so you can risk two percent of your capital, um, mm. and then. This is this is how the for investment you could set two to ten percent depending on the kind of return or move you are expecting from that. Mm -hmm. And 
if you feel that the 10% is like you you were saying for reliance i would say if i am buying reliance and my stop loss is 150 rupees and if my trading capital to deploy on this is 10000 i will adjust my quantity but i would not change my stop loss okay okay as, as simple as i will still get into trade but i will trade with less quantity i will still follow my 2 to 10% rule or or 1% risk rule right i follow a strict 1 is to 2 risk reward if i don't see a potential of getting two two times reward i will not enter the trade right right, right? so that's how then for hedge if you are already in a long position you can hedge your position uh, for overnight risk if you are anticipating some you know news or something like that uh, define how you can lock your profit so options i i i'm i'm very active trader in options i i leverage all types of option strategies like especially um, buying selling is very common but credit uh, spread and and debit spread depending on the volatility and 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 move i am expecting mm. um one very important thing is stop loss in every position i've seen people i i used to do the same thing i used to buy or short something and i used used to think that okay no problem i am anyway in front of my screen i i, I will mm. put stop loss when i will when i will uh, see a need but i've seen mm. many times i bought my hands and price gives you you know a strong move immediately before you even realize so mm. you should make a habit that the moment you enter your uh, buy or sell order immediately put a stop loss protective stop loss and then keep adjusting mm. as the price goes again okay, uh, goes mm. uh, you know. and then finally the whatever your trading capital is just diversify your capital don't put uh, keep all your uh, eggs in the same basket and mm. uh, so how i i recommend this is your let's say 10 lakh capital split mm. that in trading and investment and then trading also mm. are you a intraday trader or are you a swing trader you know mm. and then investment also it, it could be a long term cash portfolio so so keep mm. your you know things spread out so that your mm. risk is also diver, di- diversify you can make a combination of long and short also but just from the diversifying that diversifying capital this is how i feel uh, should be done mm. and this is a case study which i created for a retail trader with 1 lakh capital how uh, somebody can be you know uh, doing this thing uh for example mm. level level is beginner he is only I, i only recommend to trade in cash don't don't go for futures or options many people mm. want to make big or from 1 lakh they want to make 2 lakhs in just one month or two weeks that's not sorry a, i i know people who wants to make 1 crore out of 1 lakh <laughs> <laughs> yeah this so, idea i came across someone and yeah that's a very unrealistic expectation so i just want to just uh, <laughs> convey this message that don't uh, you know be too greedy uh, so mm. this is very important here so if my 1 lakh capital maximum risk for 1% is 1000 if mm. i am buying something at 100 rupees my stop loss is 95 then my mm. stop loss points is 5 rupees 100 minus 95 mm. then my target price is 1 is to 2 risk reward 110 quantity mm. 100 right because i can only lose uh 1000 rupees on this so 1000 divided by 200 like 5 points is 200 if Correct. i win my new capital will be 1 lakh 2000 this becomes mm. my capital here mm. similarly follow next next is 5 i am buying 500 rupees stock this time and my stop loss is 480 mm. this time my stop loss point is 20 rupi- 20 then my target price is 20 into 240 40 quantity mm. be 51 depending on the the price of the stock and the quantity mm. uh, and the, if i make loss then i will lose 1020 it's more or less in the same range 1000 the capital is here so similarly if i am losing three like two lose loss trade three win trade still mm. managing 1000 rupees risk one and i am just pro- making profit two times whenever i am winning i am still making 4% return on after these five trades i mean mm. again it's a hypothetical stage but i'm trying to you know take the point home is that this is how somebody should be able to manage it's a very simple created excel sheet but do mm. it the way you want but point here is be disciplined keep your maximum risk intact don't leverage too much and be very very disciplined and structured correct yeah and then once you are comfortable with this model then keep scaling now from 1 lakh you can cre- increase to 2 lakhs 5 lakh 10 lakh and the same f- rule will follow and by that time you will also be very comfortable and confident that this is how things are working and you have tried and tested this so you will get more confidence to 
do that. Any questions on this, uh, Vivek? No, 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 absolutely good, self-explanatory. Perfect. Uh, this is the trading plan for working professionals, which I, I'm a working professional, so I, uh, my first and foremost focus is always on my job. Whenever I have something important, meetings, client discussions, uh, internal meetings with my teams. I don't look at the screen. Don't look at my mobile at all. So that mm. I definitely don't want to compromise anything on my job because that's where I get my bread and butter for my for which from which I feed my family. So I definitely don't compromise there. So this is the message. I know a lot of people these days, especially in the COVID situation, a lot of people have a lot of time at home. Um, mm. They can spend a lot of time on trading. But if you have something from work perspective, do not compromise on your work, else you will not be justifying your salary, what you are getting. Correct. So be fair, be ethical to your job. Uh, and only when you have some time from investment perspective and things like that, you can you know, do that. Secondly, define the type of trading you, you want to cash trader, FNO, forex community. This is very important. Mm. Once you have that, you create your own small list. Keep it as small as possible when you are a beginner. Um, you know, after so many years, still I have anything between like five to ten. You have seen that, but I definitely mm. don't want to. If if something is not working and I, I keep adding or deleting based on the liquidity and, and and news, but I try to keep it within ten because that way I will have more focus. Uh, I I remember those levels by heart. I have those alerts set up on my mobile. Uh, and mm. I keep getting alerts the way I want to trade. So this is going to help you bring more focus. On screen, off screen, if you are you know, in office or if you are traveling, then that, that would be your off screen. On screen means you are at home, you have a screen in your front, you can you know, define and finalize your trading setup. You know the best what works for you based on your style, your risk appetite. So for positionally, positional, you can use daily hourly, for intraday, you can use 15.5. And then define solid rules of engagement, entry, exit, stop loss, trailing, stop loss, and everything. And finally, uh, set alerts on your mobile. The moment you get that alert, first thing you have to do is place, see on your mobile how the chart is looking, whether it meets your requirements, and then buy or sell whatever the setup says, and then immediately put a stop loss and uh, just forget. Then get back to your work, and only put a target price if. If price hits your stop loss, you have you anyway have to don't have to worry, right? It's gone. But for mm. target, whatever your target is, one is to one, one is to do, or things like that, you put that alert and just only take a action when you get that alert. Do not disturb yourself, your work, or anything related to office in between. That's what you need to do. And that's what I've been playing. So it's 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 my edge as well. Very limited stocks, very clearly defined structure. Um, rules of engagement. I know what to do when I see something, and I don't hesitate to pull the trigger when I see something. Any questions on this, Vivek? Nothing. Again, self-explanatory slide. <laughs> Good. So I know we are towards the end of the session. So this is the takeaway: like invest time and show commitment to learn. I know a lot of people are so dependent on other people's trading calls on Twitter or other ways, but you can you can live for some time you make some money but that will not give you the level of satisfaction you are looking for so invest time in in learning price action and volume because that's the key if you understand what price is doing what volume is telling then you can always be uh, on the edge and i've i've created a lot of material i'll just show you um, uh, where is that sorry here so this is what i have created for all the Whatever I've done so far, what I feel is useful, I've created this document and kind of added here in uh, in my profile section. You can you can look at that here in the pin tweet. Okay. So that's the document which people should uh, refer to if they want to see something very structured way, trading plan, market structure, supply demand zone, simplifying trend training, and, and many other things. So awesome. many things I've done here to just share my experience. Uh, I've also recommended some books, all the ME broker AFLs I've kept here, just to make sure okay. people using ME broker are you know, getting this help. Um, this is uh, the books which have changed my life and thinking, um, complete guide to price, price volume analysis, Anna Cowling, 
Tim Ord, you know, Galvin Holmes, Tom Williams. This is Master the Market. Absolutely excellent book. Trade about to happen. Then these are some of the people I, I, I followed from books and videos. All price action champions. Um, so that's the thing. And then do a lot of back testing manually. I know how many thousands and hundreds of I don't know how many hours, but when my wife and kids used to sleep, I spent lots of hours overnight to check everything manually on ME broker, created so many things, tested them, and just to make sure I'm seeing the right thing. That will give you the right level of confidence you are looking for to pull the trigger when it comes to you know, taking the trade. Build a trading plan. Don't compromise on this. You have to have, I'll just show you some slide after this. Um, trade what you see on the chart. Don't get your thoughts clouded by what social media is saying, what your friends are saying, what anybody else or media channels are saying. So what you see on the chart is what you need to trade without giving yourself any sort of hesitation. And then focus on risk first. And finally, set realistic expectation. You don't want to you know, make one lakh to 10 lakhs or one crore, as you mentioned, in just one month, a very short time. It's a journey. There are plenty of other op, you know, ways I, I, I look for to make money or create uh, wealth maybe in some other session or I can sh share some tweets later on uh, by using options to get some sort of guaranteed or, or a decent monthly income. Uh, that also can be followed. But just set realistic expectations from yourself. Have patience. Stay disciplined through thick and thin. Um, and, and I'm sure that people will, will be able to make the hell out of it. That's all from my side. Uh, this is the blueprint of trading plan, which I recommend. Um, that's all. This is pullback versus reverse. Some some of these slides I can share that. Yeah, Thank we'll you. be very we'll be very glad if you can share this presentation also. Uh, yeah. uh, maybe whenever you share your uh, uh, this video when we'll be uh, publishing and we when you share it uh, on your Twitter handle. You can sure. also share the link of this PPT, uh, which could be through your Google Doc, as sure. you have shared that document, so that Perfect. people can download uh, this PPT along with the video. Uh, great. So I think I have received uh, from you a path to peaceful trading. You know, a lot <laughs> of people talk about peaceful investing, which is actually investing, if done the right way, could be extremely peaceful. But yeah. now I can see that you have given a formula uh, for peaceful trading where you have explained both the hard aspect which is how to develop a strategy and a soft aspect means how to prepare yourself properly yep. so thank you so much for this uh, lovely lovely session lovely interaction with you uh, i may not know you in person but i know for sure that you are incredible <laughs> thank you so uh, much. whatever you are doing for everyone is very nice and uh, you have been very open with your candid discussions and I, I've been a big fan of your Twitter handle, and I'm going to be further following you for more wisdom in future. Thank you so much, Vivek, for your kind words, and I really appreciate again all the great work your you and your team is doing. I, I, I know how much I count on you. I, I keep watching all the videos what you post so that I know what my fellow traders are doing, and and if there is something which I can learn to improve my edge, uh, that definitely is going to be helpful. So I definitely look forward for every new video what you. So thank you again for providing me this opportunity to share my experience. I hope I was able to do justice with the time I spent and took from you. And I hope people will find it useful. Absolutely. Thank you. And uh, take care of yourself. Thank you, users. You have been very patient. And uh, I'm sure that you find value. Uh, although the videos which we record are typically lengthy, but because it's useful, that's why it has to have all the content which is useful. For you so thank you for your patient hearing i hope you like our, our work and if you do like share our work with other people as well because there's so much to be done by all of us to make india truly financial independent thank you so much thank you everyone thank you bye-bye thank you thank you vivek bye-bye